More gunshot, more bloodshed. Saying, man gun down in Arnett Gardens. Viewers and subscribers. These things happen when you have poor leaders. You know what I mean? Leaders will not take some serious action against a criminal limb. The punishment now match a crime. This is why I be a gunshot of fire. On the brace of the self, and more things are going on. I mean, I be negative. Bag you know things, saying? they have to make a statement. If I know bag things, TV, it don't make sense. I bag things, TV, I run things all the time. <laughs> bag things, TV, media. Ladies and gentlemen, we're there again with the bad news, them boy. I mean, I tell you, say, about from like four, I would say probably a week, you know, a gunshot then turn up. Yeah, man, a gunshot then turn up, you know, me, I tell you, all over in Jamaica. Kingston, Westmoreland, St. James, all over, you name it. Yeah, what they must say, I can't tell you, section of Arnett Gardens in St. Andrew are now tens following a murder at a paradise court apartment on wednesday evening the deceased has been identified as timothy shedden saying may i tell us a boy let me show you what they say go on according to residents shedden was sitting outside the apartment when he was approached by men on a motorcycle who opened fire hitting him to the upper body about 5 p.m you know, see that the same pattern the same modus operandi it continues, right? I'm mean, showing sure what really I go on in this life, you know. Cause enough people now pre the meds you now. When I made the thing, you see, when criminal continue one area and then get away with it, you find out the boy is a pattern. Everybody is a copycat. Everybody a copy the pattern. And you see, say boy, man of West Milan, I do it. St. James man, I do it. Clarendon man, I do it. I see him thing. Ride up on a motorbike. The pillion jump off of the bike. Or it's a motor car pull up. And three men alighted from the car and them successfully gun down a man, you know. And them see it happen over and over. So the criminal, them a copy and paste it all over the 14 parishes. So what the government do now, if you have sense, see, and you know, say, boy, you have a purpose and you know how to deal with things, you don't make sure, say, no, any boy carry out certain act like America. As America do it, you know. America, very revengeful and vindictive, you know. And why them do so now? They make sure say yo, once you carry out the crime there, you now nah get away with it. Cause they must show a message or they must send a message to the other people. Them say, hey, don't try this. If you try it, you're not gonna get away with it. Now Jamaican leaders them in a some bugo yaga business in a man. Now here what they must say now, the man will get wet up, you know. He was assisted by the resident to the hospital where he later died. There was another shooting incident in Arnett Gardens the day before. Two men were shot and injured in a drive-by West Road. However, no fatalities were reported. The man is lucky. Yeah, man, then grab them up and rush them to the hospital. And it seems like so right now, they might go to a treatment, you know. Yeah, man, so they're lucky right there. So, John no star. Killings, shootings over and over. You understand? All over the place. Prime Minister of Jamaica, you know, see what I go on. I wonder if you wake up yet. Yeah, man, you know, wake up the Prime Minister of Jamaica, man, because he come like he's still asleep. Yeah, man, we have to wake him up, man. But you hear what I say now? You hear what I say in this new report now? More police presence, cameras to address Olympic Gardens crime. So, me I'll show you what Prime Minister I said, you know. Because Prime Minister I said, bugger sitting, but he come like say, most of sitting there, what I say, no make too much sense, you know. Prime Minister Andrew Olness is assuring residents of Olympic Gardens that several strategies including increasing police presence and the installation of cameras will be used to address gang violence that is affecting the area. Olness assures come after a spate of shootings in the community which results in at least two double murder on Tuesday with a report six deaths in total over recent days. You think a camera alone? Well, I'm to a court. I'll know me no hear you address the court yet, you know. I'll know, remember saying, you know, when the police then go on the man, you know, and take them to the court. The court is like a strainer. The man, you might jump out and drop out back to a court, you know, man. You know, make no sense. The court now, nah, hold them, a court, I let them go. But me telling you about Sykes. Sykes don't want the criminal them in a court, you know. He might let them go and make sure. He let go a whole like clangs man them. The judiciary system just don't make no sense. You understand? It just don't know how to work itself. You understand? It just don't make no sense. Let me go further now. A curfew which began on 8 p.m. on Tuesday and will continue on 8 p.m. on Thursday has been imposed to address the violence in the area. 
oldness accompanied by minister of national security dr Horace strong and police commissioner major general anthony anderson on wednesday walk section of the community of olympic gardens that is located in the prime minister's west central st andrew constituency let me show you something man walk community and, and, and tell people how to feel bad about things now nah, work we see too much of that yeah yeah man, we need some serious law on the books. I'm not talking, no chatting business, cause I realize I be a chatting business on the pan in a month, see? On a need to get serious man, see? What you are going in quotation? It would appear that young men from the community involved in gang activities ended up in conflict, which has resulted in the loss of six lives. He stated, We also believe that in addition to the gang conflicts, there are or maybe retaliation where innocent lives are being involved he said the prime minister said police have assured him that they are investigating the developments and that they will leave no stone unturned in their probe we don't want these reactionary policing right now car oh me see it as just reactionary policing you know how about preventative policing where you gotta take action from early and make sure so certain things not go on because the man them scare of getting in in a serious problem with the law they might go get some serious punishment if they get caught so you find out say boy oh the punishment is so serious right now it deter the crime you know it make the criminal them of a thing twice you in a some reactionary thing you know because you're not so effective so yeah use some reactionary measures and I try to assure people when so much life for loss. There's no more assurance for Jamaican people. Them. The only assurance is put some serious law upon the book. Walking in the community again and show how they get a tears and, and a cry and a go and like say, yeah, Joker, he, he, he not going to work out. We're tired of it. Yeah, man. The people of Jamaican are tired of this, man. Saying politicians, they walk up and down and I tell people, say, me sorry. And I hug up mother and I hug up granny. And I hug up papa and I start a paper. A different a different time and now. If we don't see some serious laws upon the book, I'm gonna talk about judiciary re reinstatement and talk about revamp the court system. Yeah man, we, we need no more joke thing right now. Saying, yeah, well give me some like on the video, man. Big and serious man. Support bugger things me the TV because I we are born in fire seeing we are. I we are wake them up you know and I make them know say yo don't get comfortable in a Jamaica while people are dead. Not giving up promises and no read no read that talk boy, you know. You understand? Yes, man. We'll get rough. We have to rough up a politician them right now, car. They must skin teeth right now. Me not like. Big skin teeth in a go on. No, on the other hand, it come like some boy, Montecue of little sense. Montecue, I say, hang them. See? Bobby Montecue say, hang a criminal boy them. I me agree with him. Kingston, Jamaica, former National Security Minister Robert Montecue has come out blazing in defense of hanging, calling on his fellow parliamentarians to muster up the political will to either remove it from the books or start dragging murderers to the gallows. Oh, you mean? And in a book in a Jamaica, I get to understand. And him now use it. It come like them free die queen over England, you know. Speaking in the debate on Firearms Prohibition and Restriction and Regulation Act 2020 in the House of Representatives on Wednesday, Montague urged National Security Minister Dr. Horace Chang to consider making relevant legislation arrangement to resume hanging. A good talk you make, you know. But member said he did in the position to, you know. I mean, he didn't do that. Member, he was the national, the Minister of National Security. You see that? They have a whole lot of you know, but when they get a chance to do some things, they do not do it. He get for him try to, you and know. he feel he make a mess of himself. See? The only thing I give props right now because he mentioned that same way, and we want it to be mentioned. We want it to be publicized. People for know, say, here now, serious measures must match this serious crime. You can't give both of them. The baby punishment and believes the boy, it will help them. Let me show you what I see government are doing in Jamaica. The government is relying on morality. In beliefs that the criminal them have moral. And they, oh, they're not going to do that. Why did they do that? They should not be doing this. Oh my God, this is dreadful. This is terrible. These people don't have any heart. No, 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 no. They don't have no heart. You know what you have to do? You have to make sure it's a boy. They insist a boy. You don't have no heart too. And when you are throwing books at them, you are them a year old, 35 years to 40 to 60. And sit there and say, Brady, blood, clean. No time at all, they can't come back out of jail. If they do come out, when they are 80, 90, and them white here, and they all are so dead in a man. And them, they punish the way I talk about, you know, punishment. Saying, John, no star, I tell you. 
When more I say now, ladies and gentlemen, when you don't settle for less in a month, Jamaican people them are desensitize themselves to the crime and violence. Some people don't know what I go on, they don't know so they have rights of protection. You have the rights for your government to protect you in your country, you know. Else you have the right to be your arm. If the Jamaican government now protect the people them, the Jamaican people them must protest and say, yo, you know, we are gonna be our own arm, we are gonna draw for a gun, whether legal or illegal, and protect ourselves. And then we go farm one gun club or farm a community to protect each other. You see me? I say, cause that's a state of terrorism I reach the Jamaican people them. And the government are not capable of protecting them. So the Jamaican people them have the right now to bear their arm and protect their own self. You understand? Alright, so bugga things media TV man. Up and running, like and share. Bang bang bang. Bang things bang, 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 bang. media TV, man. Thank you for watching. Make sure you share it. Make sure you subscribe. Press that notification bell to stay updated, man. Jamaican assassin killing all names, urban legend, Jackal, out.